Hi guys, today we're doing pairs of angles, which is section 1.5. Today we're starting with a lot of definitions and some pictures, um, and this is a little bit of math today, it's not too bad. All right, the first type of angle we're talking about today is complementary angles. So the definition is two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees. So essentially it's two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So there's a couple different ways you could view this or a couple different pictures. I could do this, 90 degree angle. And there's two of them, so there's angle 90 degrees, there's angle one and angle two, and between the two of them, they add up to 180, or they can be separate angles, like so. 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So those two angles together would add up to 90 degrees. The second one is supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles with measures that have a sum of 180. So a picture we could draw is this, angles one and two, they make a straight line there, a straight angle, which would be 180. Or we can do two separate ones so we can do like a 120 angle and a 60 degree angle. Okay, so those two combined would give you that supplementary angles. Okay, so they can either be joined um, or separate in these two definitions. Adjacent angles, the word adjacent means next to. All right, this is two angles that have a common vertex and side. In other words, they're next to the, they're attached to each other. So an example of this, Angle one and two are adjacent because they are next to it. They share a common vertex and they share a common side there. All right, so those are adjacent angles. A linear pair. When I hear the word linear, I think of straight line. All right, so it's a pair of adjacent, which means next to or they're touching angles. that form a straight angle, or in other words, they add to 180. So these are also supplementary angles. So an example of this, okay, why this is a linear pair? Because the angles are adding up to 180 and they're touching, they're next to each other. They share that common side. The last one is vertical angles. Um, these are two non-adjacent, so that means they're not next to each other, angles formed by two intersecting lines. So I'm going to draw two lines here. Ooh, that was not a good line. Okay, there are my two lines. If you see when I draw the two lines, it makes four angles. So here is angle one, two, three, and four. So vertical angles, they are non adjacent so they can't be next to each other. Okay, so for example, our vertical angles here are angles 
one and angle three are vertical angles. So angle one, this angle, and angle three are vertical, which also means that angles two and four are also vertical angles. So one and three are vertical angles, two and four are vertical angles. Let's see some problems with this. All right, so example one it says angle L, F, E, and E, F, R form a linear pair. So we look at our picture here, angle L, F, E, and angle E, F, R form a linear pair, which is true. They are next to each other and they add up to 180. So we can write linear pair means they equal 180. It says that if F, D is or FD bisects the angle EFR, so this right here is bisecting it, which remember, an angle bisector cuts that angle in half, which means the angles on either side are going to be congruent or equal. Okay, um, it says the measurement of angle EFD, so angle EFD, this one right here is 20 degrees. They want us to find the measurement of angle LFE, so they want us to find this angle right here. Okay, so we know that this angle is 20 degrees, and we know this is bisecting it, so we automatically know that this angle, DFR, is also 20 degrees. Remember, this whole picture here should add up to 180, so we've already used up 40, so we can do 180 minus 40, and we get 140 degrees. So my answer is that the measurement of angle L, F, E, is 140. Okay. All right, example two. It says the measurement of angle C is 80 degrees. What is its supplement? So remember, going back to this front page here, supplementary angles, they add to 180. So if the first angle is 80 degrees, what would its supplementary angle be to make sure that they add to 180? It should be 100. What would its complementary angle be if angle C is 80 to be complementary? Remember, complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. So that answer would be 10. Okay. True or false? Um, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. So we're going to draw a linear pair. Here's linear pair. Are they supplementary, which means do they equal 180? Yes, they do, so that would be true. If two angles are supplementary, then they form a linear pair. So in this instance, I'm looking back at this table up here. If I look at my supplementary angles, I would say that these angles right here, they are supplementary and they form a linear pair. But do these two angles right here, the 120 and 60, while they are supplementary, do they make a linear pair? Are they creating a straight line? No. So I would say this one is false. Okay. Next one. If two angles are adjacent, then they form a linear pair. So it means that any angles that are touching have to form a linear pair, a straight line. I would say false. An example would be like right here. These two angles are adjacent. They're touching each other, but they're not a linear pair. We're not going to do example four, so you can cross that out. All right, example five. We're going to find values of x and y in this figure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on different things that we know. Try to find one variable at a time and kind of work your way back. So if you look at here, we have 2x plus 25 in this angle. 2y plus 1, and 3x minus 10. So I'm looking at my x's. I have x's in those two angles right there. And I'm looking at what type of angles those are. So based on our earlier table, what types of angles are that 2x plus 25 and 3x minus 10? They're vertical angles. And the cool thing about vertical angles is they are equal to each other. So that means that they're the same length. So I can say that 2x plus 25 equals 3x minus 10. And I can solve for x. I can add that 10 over. Okay. 
I can subtract that 2x. And I get that x is 35. Half the battle is done. Now we have to find y. Now the issue here with y is it doesn't have another angle over here that we can simply write an equation for in equals. So we're going to have to use x. What I do is let's plug in x and see what we get. So if I plug in x here, 3 times 25 minus 10, okay, gives me 3 times 35, 60. That gives me 65, oh, sorry, it's 35, not 25. Whoops. Ignore that. 3 times 35, sorry, minus 10. Okay? If I do that, I get that this is 95 degrees here, this angle, which means that this angle is also 95 degrees. Now, if we look, we can see how do... How does this angle and this angle relate to each other? Well, they're next to each other. They're making a straight line, which means they should add up to 180. If I do this, I can add those together. So I can say 95 degrees plus 2y plus 1 should equal 180. Okay, if I do that math there, I get 2y equals 84, and I get that y equals 42. Another way you could do that problem is if this is 95 degrees, I can do 180 minus 95, and I get 85. And I can make that 85 equals 2y plus 1. Either way will work.